Understanding anthrax, a serious threat to animals. Anthrax is a serious disease. It affects animals and can sometimes infect humans. The disease is caused by a bacterium called Bacillus anthracis. This bacterium forms tough spores that can survive for a long time in the environment, even under harsh conditions. Anthrax is most common in agricultural regions. Animals like cattle, sheep, and goats are particularly susceptible to infection. The disease can cause significant economic losses due to animal deaths. Anthrax is a global concern. Cases have been reported on all continents except Antarctica. Areas with a history of anthrax outbreaks are at higher risk. Understanding anthrax is crucial for effective prevention and control. By learning about its causes, transmission, and symptoms, we can work towards minimizing its impact on animal and human health. Causes and transmission, how anthrax spreads. Anthrax is caused by the bacterium Bacillus anthracis. This bacterium forms spores that are incredibly resilient. They can survive for decades in the soil. Animals usually get infected by ingesting these spores while grazing. The spores can contaminate their food or water sources. Transmission of anthrax can occur through several ways. Direct contact with infected animals or their carcasses is a significant risk factor. Insects can also mechanically transmit the bacteria. Humans can get infected with anthrax too. This usually happens through contact with infected animals or contaminated animal products. Inside anthrax infection, how it affects the body. Once inside the body, anthrax spores start to multiply. They produce toxins that damage tissues and organs. The bacteria spread through the bloodstream, leading to a systemic infection. Anthrax infection can manifest in different forms. The most common forms in animals are cutaneous anthrax, intestinal anthrax, and inhalation anthrax. Cutaneous anthrax affects the skin and is characterized by the formation of black necrotic ulcers. Intestinal anthrax affects the gastrointestinal tract and causes severe inflammation. Inhalation anthrax, the most severe form, affects the lungs and can be fatal. The severity of anthrax infection depends on the route of entry and the number of spores the animal is exposed to. Early diagnosis and treatment are crucial for improving the chances of survival. Section 4. Recognizing Anthrax. Symptoms in Animals. Anthrax presents various symptoms in animals depending on the form of infection. Early signs may be subtle and easily missed. Sudden death is a common finding in animals with anthrax. They may also exhibit fever, weakness, and reluctance to move. Animals with cutaneous anthrax develop characteristic black, painless ulcers. Swelling in the neck, chest, or abdomen can occur in cases of internal anthrax. Bloody discharge from body openings, difficulty breathing, and convulsions are alarming signs that may indicate advanced anthrax infection. Recognizing these symptoms is crucial for timely intervention. If you suspect an animal might have anthrax, contact a veterinarian immediately. Section 5. Combating Anthrax, Diagnosis, Treatment, and Prevention Diagnosing anthrax in animals usually involves a combination of clinical signs, post-mortem examination, and laboratory testing. Blood samples or tissue swabs can be collected and sent to a laboratory for confirmation. Treatment of anthrax typically involves antibiotics, such as penicillin. Early administration of antibiotics is crucial for improving the chances of survival. Preventing anthrax in animals primarily involves vaccination. Vaccination is highly effective in protecting susceptible animals from infection. Proper disposal of carcasses is crucial for preventing the spread of anthrax spores. Carcasses should be burned or buried deeply to minimize contamination of the environment. Section 6. Anthrax as a weapon. A serious concern. Anthrax spores can be produced in a laboratory setting. This has raised concerns about their potential use as a biological weapon. Anthrax spores can be spread through the air, water, or food. They can also be used to contaminate objects or surfaces. Inhalation of anthrax spores can lead to severe respiratory distress and death. There are treatments available for anthrax exposure, but early intervention is critical. Governments and health organizations are working to develop strategies for preventing and responding to potential anthrax attacks.